Hello everyone, welcome back to Lens Homestead. Today we're going to be working on my custom fence. I made this, oh, the fall, fall of last year. No, sorry, year before. It's this cattle panel that I bent. Got some flat steel on this side and angle pieces on the top. So uh, I made this so the one year that my dog would have the ultimate dog house. So I used this uh, rust converter on it because it was getting a little crusty. And I got this uh, cold galvanized spray. So we're just going to you know, touch it up, make it look a little better. And we'll set it off to dry. And we got to work on a different project uh, because I did get my tax refund. wasn't as much as I was hoping it was. I need to finish this barn roof this year. That If it kills me, i got to get it done. So let's uh, sit there and shake this thing up real quick. And uh, we'll get this uh, sprayed up. I got my heater on. Took me a while to get it started. Well, let's see what we got here. I didn't have any of this stuff uh, when I built this. And when you weld, welds will rust. And wherever you put heat, it's going to rust even more. Well, I want to need to reassemble all this this year because I do plan on putting an addition onto the dog kennel. And I want this right. Even though I hastily put it on here because when I built the dog house, I built it really short. I mean, it's probably, it's not as tall as this workbench. So I need to make sure that uh, when everything is done and I reinstall it in a little bit different way, I don't think I'm actually even gonna fasten it uh, like I did before to the top of the doghouse. I'm going to use something different, but I need to make sure this stuff doesn't uh, cause any problems. <coughs> and on this one end here, it's you see it's rounded. That, this is actually a pipe. And because I did it like this is because I got hose clamps to hold this to the um, other part of the fence. And I got a piece of uh, PVC trim that also helps sandwich it. So if somebody or something comes in contact, they'll have to not only jump up on the doghouse, they're going to have to jump over this. And if they get in, they ain't getting out. <clears throat> so let's get it well coated. I don't have to worry about the fence. That's got a really good galvanized coating on it in itself. I'm not sure whether it'll be this year. Or the following year, maybe this year, hard to tell, but um, I may get a puppy. We'll just have to see how things go. Okay, so I got that well coated. I'm satisfied with it. So when I come back, uh, well, I'll show you the next little project we're going to work on. Okay, guys, um, now I got my roofing panel here. It's just a scrap that I had left over when I was working on the roof. Now, uh, if you 
enjoy a lot of my videos and maybe some of my projects, please uh, check me out in my Facebook page. It's just Lynn's Homestead on Facebook. You can get a hold of me through uh, Messenger. You know, I might not answer right away, depending on what I'm doing at my job or what I'm doing here. So, um, we're going to use a piece of this as a measuring tool, which when it gets a little bit drier and nicer out, I got to get the forks on my tractor, which is my Massey Ferguson GC1723E. We're going to hook up to my man lift basket that I built. You'd have to check that out in my playlist of Lynn's Homestead. Uh, it will be the uh, homestead equipment. So let's measure this thing out. I don't think I need to really go much over three inches. So let me uh, show you what we're doing here. Oh, I tell you, some people got camera. People to run the camera, man, it's a whole lot easier. Here's the cameras, doing the work. I thought it'd be easy when I started, but it's actually quite hard. And you'll understand when that video comes and I'm measuring for the roof. <coughs> because I look at it this way. When I'm moving this thing around, let's see, this is the edge, leading edge. When I set the thing on the roof, I'm going to measure across. And then when I get to, let's say, this part of the ridge, that's where... This other piece on this side sits on it. Then I just measure it, and from that point straight down, I measure, hopefully in a straight line, it will tell me how long panels I need to get. So, what I need to do now is I need to cut this. Hmm. Which is the best way to do that? Let me find some tools, and we'll get started. We're going to try this thing first. I bought it to uh, do a job on the house. I figure, why don't we give it a try on this thing? Never used it before. Hardest part is getting up over these ridges. And every little ridge, it would work great 
if you're cutting it in a straight edge this way, it'd be perfect for that. I've always used the uh, tin snips. All these cuts you see in here, I did by this. You want to talk about a sore wrist? So let me show you here. Let me. <coughs> so we're not measuring up on the roof. I'll be setting this on here. Let's uh, see if this is the edge. I'll be setting this thing up on the roof up there, and I'll be measuring to where, where it kind of catches. I could measure to here, and I, yeah, that would work too. But when I go to put my metal up and I need to cut, where it, where it overhangs, I need to measure down, and that's where it's going to tell me how long of metal I need. I mean, I only got one eight foot piece left over when I was doing uh, the main part of the roof here, under, the, under where we're standing. So I need a measuring jig, and this is the only way I can see him doing it. So, there's a battle, but I think it went a whole lot faster than 10 snips. So I hope you understand this, why I did it like this. Because when I'm up on the roof, and I'm putting this thing up there, I need an accurate measurement. How long do I need? I know I'm going to need at least two 12-footers. Two. Uh, from there, I'm not exactly sure. So everything will have to be laid out on the roof, and then we can uh, figure out, okay, I'm going to need this much. I'm going to need some of this closure strip, which is just a, uh, I don't know if you even have any close by. It's just foam rubber. It's black. It's made not to deteriorate in weather. I have it. Uh, I use the regular closure strips when I went on the sides here. But I like this, uh, this other stuff. It's really thick. And you actually just stick it down. You just peel it. Stick it, you put the metal on, and you screw it down, you're done. Ain't nothing going to go up in there, no birds, no bugs, no nothing. You actually use it on the um, ridge cap. Same thing. So, that is going to conclude this video. There's another video I need to work on because uh, it's in the way. See you in the next video. See you in the next one. Don't forget to check out my Facebook page.